Not the ankles. Not the ankles. God's sake. It's for the best. Welcome to the Reboot Tuesday. Welcome back to another review, another Netflix review. The Paramedic just dropped and I'm here to talk all about it. Uh, jump down in the comments below. Have you heard of this? Are you looking forward to it? Don't forget, we have a new Discord, so I'll leave the description below. Join us there. We talk all things uh, movies, TV, games, th th entertainment. But for now, let's jump into The Paramedic. The Paramedic is directed by Carlos Torres and it's about Angel who works in an ambulance service. After a tragic accident, his personal life begins to deteriorate as he becomes more and more suspicious of his partner, Vane. It's an interesting film. It runs an hour and a half long and it feels long, uh, which is a, it's a weird thing to say for a film that is basically about a one guy whose mind deteriorates uh, you see him unravel as a character as things happen to him. There's an inciting incident that spurs the story into action. And you see how one man who already felt a little bit awkward, a little bit weird, a little bit wrong. And then he, uh, th this inciting incident spurs him into becoming that character that we expected him to be all along. I mean, you get that from the trailer, you get that from the synopsis, you get it from the opening moments where you see this character, you're like... There's something not quite right with this guy. There's a there's a massive amount of foreboding and tonal just tension around every scene you see him in. If you saw this guy walking around the street and he looked at you the way he looks at every single person, you would think, well, I'm going to cross the street. Um, and so I have to give kudos to the actor who brings that into this film. But going back to how I said it was long, it's weird that I have to say that it feels long because it's only an hour and a half long, but I did clock watch a lot of the time and that's because I feel like there isn't actually much story here you you get this inciting incident you see where it's gonna go and it feels like they should have chopped out a lot for to kind of keep the pace uh, moving along much quicker the, the best thing I can compare this to is miseries the Stephen King's misery the book or the film however you want to take it and even though that is longer than this film it felt very quick because the moments of action are there are multiple inciting incidents and you get that a lot um, in this film as well but they just feel drawn out you just feel like well I know where this is, this is gonna go I know what they're gonna do next there isn't enough to keep you engaged the whole time it's the moments of tension the moments of those things where you know it's going to go wrong but you don't want it to happen that's what keep, keeps you engaged in this and i would say the protagonist the acting for the most part is very good it is a spanish film um, and i did try watching it in its original and I did try watching it in the dubbing, which Netflix puts automatically for me. And I lasted about 20 seconds because it's again, the dubbing is fine, but it's uh, people who have dubbed it are not from the place that you'd expect them to be. They don't have the right accents. You need to feel like you're still listening to the language in the country of origin. Um, and that always takes me out of it. So this is like typical proper American dubbing um, accents and you know immediately that it just it felt immediately wrong so there's nothing wrong with the dubbing it just took me out of the film so I went to the original and I was like <sighs> breathe the sigh of relief that felt better I have to say the opening shots of this film are very good um, some of the camera techniques are very exciting the way they use the camera to put you in the zone of what is happening as with being an ambulance dude you will see some uh, you know some medical emergencies and I thought they handled that very well I liked all the apartment shots and most of the film is filmed in one apartment so if you've seen the trailer you'll see that there's the guy he gets hurt um, the ambulance man he gets hurt and so his life is all thrown up topsy-turvy and he is very paranoid about his girlfriend you know we have that in the synopsis and his mind just literally unravels you see him unraveling but at the same time you get two types of people that deal with when when they're hurt you get people that handle it very well and are very appreciative appreciative even when they're going through really hard times appreciative of everything that people do for them on the other hand you have this dude who is one of those people that just is grumpy is angry um, and doesn't trust anybody and so you immediately kind of don't like him it's hard to root for him at all even though you feel sorry for him momentarily for the stuff that has happened to him you kind of are with the people that he's you always want to protect the people that he is with because you don't know what he's going to do so for those moments when there's that tension 
it reminds me of certain other films that I kind of don't want to mention because I feel like it would give more of the plot away. But you just, it's those characters that you don't know what they're going to do next. And that creates a nice tension. But I do feel like it does feel long-winded, which is, it's weird for me to say, even while I'm describing the film, it sounds like it's a much faster paced film, but it isn't. There's a lot of watching. There's a lot of spying. There's a lot of, um, did you do this? Did you do that? And then the latter half, I would say, the latter half of the film is very interesting. I particularly like the ending. I thought the ending was strong. It did it well. I didn't see it coming. And I thought, wow, that's darker than I thought. There are, well, there is one sex scene that I thought was quite graphic for a 15. Uh, maybe I'm just, you know, in my old age, I've got more timid. I don't know. Just to give you a heads up in the UK, it's a 15. Um, but for the most part, it's just a tense thriller ride as you see a character's mind unravel and become something that you don't necessarily want yourself to be becoming unless you were always that. And it's, it, it drives this tension between what forces a person to become this type of person how can you get pushed too far i think there are some certain themes here like okay this guy he he can't handle it he always seemed a bit mental um and so when he gets pushed over the edge you see what that means um i thought it was quite not a massively original film you do get everything that's coming but i liked what they did with it um entertainment wise as i do two uh, scores now i do how great it is in its originality in its filmmaking because i enjoyed it but i probably won't go back to watch it ever again because there are much better films of this genre um i feel like i've come down harsh in it but yeah i was looking forward to it ending so that's not great so i think a, a c plus is good and i think a two is good so chat to me in the comments below. Have you heard of this one? Did you think it was any good? Thanks so much for watching this review. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.